how to talk about the past in English. Hello and welcome to you Faber. So yesterday was Sunday. So what did you do yesterday? I brushed my teeth, I cooked my breakfast, I watched television. Well, do you see something similar in the words brushed, cooked and watched? Yes, that's right. They are all actions that have happened in the past. And this, the sentences are simple past sentences. What is this exactly? Let's have a look at a few more examples to understand this better. Rules. Rule number one. The main rule is that for every action word in English, there is only one form of it in the past tense. What do we mean by this? Let's take a look. For example, the past tense of the verb walk is walked. Walked is used as the past tense for all subjects or pronouns. I walked, you walked, he walked, she walked, it walked, we walked, they walked. So you just have to learn one word to be able to use it in the past tense. In this case, we just needed to learn the one word walked which can be used for all subjects. Rule 2. Secondly, we have to remember to change a regular action word into its past tense form. We normally add ed to the end of the action word. What do we mean by this? For example, Meena bakes a cake. Here the action word is bakes. Now, if we take it and make it into the past tense by adding ed, it will be baked. So the sentence becomes Meena baked a cake. As simple as that. The sentence is now in simple past. Let's look at some more examples. We finished our exam an hour ago. Here the action word finish becomes finished after adding ed to the word. She washed her hair this morning. The same happens here after adding ed to the action word wash. I lived in Brazil for two years. And here we add ed to the action word live. Ruhi studied Japanese for five years. Here study becomes studied. Shaila phoned her mother every Sunday until her death. And here phone becomes phoned. Do you see all the action words here have ed at the end of them and the sentence automatically becomes simple past tense. Isn't that great? There you go. Let's now look at a handy table to summarize what we have learnt. Just remember, past simple sentences indicate that something started. It stopped. It's over. Thanks for joining us at UFaber today. See you again soon.